Hey everyone, how's it going? So here's something super interesting and easy to make. An SD card reader theme after Batman logo from Pattinson's Batman. I call this makeshift setup Bat Drive because it's kind of like a pen drive that looks like a Batman throwing shuriken or whatever they are called. Imagine the scenario. Batman is currently fighting some guys and he need to stop this computer which will release some kind of cliche missile into air. He throws his bad drive at the USB port and get it connected with the bad guy's computer and upload some kind of virus into their system and boom, he saves the day yet again. Now instead of putting some kind of malware in this drive, I put a few stuff that I got from Riddler's official website that you guys can check it out. It's a site that WB set up just for lulz. My main goal for making this device was to prepare an awesome looking SD card reader that I will use daily with my 3D printer. For this project, I wanted to completely make a fully fleshed SD card reader or a memory card reader with the generic IC available in market like GL827L for example. Because of its availability, I was unable to get it, so I improvised a little bit. I took a normal $1 SD card reader and opened it up which reveal a pretty straightforward circuit that consists of an SD card holder, one LED and this block of epoxy spot. This epoxy spot is known as COB or circuit on board or chip on board and it houses a single wafer that is connected directly to the PCB. To start this project, I first set up Batman logo in my Orcat setup. After importing the Batman shape as PCB outline, I then prepare the SD card reader footprint. For the main SD card circuit, I remove the SD card holder from it and reveal some pads that connected the SD card to silicon wafer, which is inside the epoxy cover. So the best option was to solder a few solid wires with connector pins pad. So I made this custom footprint that consists of CON8 pad on the SD card side and a CON4 pad on the USB side. I made this custom footprint and then added it to the PCB design. After making the custom footprint for the SD card circuit, I then prepare yet another footprint but this time it was for a generic SD card SMD holder that I got from a seller. I followed the SD card holder datasheet and then prepared the footprint and then added it to the PCB design. I connected this SD card holder pins with CON8 so the external SD card holder that I added gets pair with the SD card circuit. Now for the USB pin, I saw a few examples over the internet in which people just make the USB pin pad on a PCB and then add solder wire to it which increases the board thickness and then it get connected with any USB port. I did the same thing by making the USB footprint in my Orcat PCB suit and then added this USB design to the PCB's CON4 pin. After completing the design, I uploaded the Gerber data on PCBWay's code page. I selected the solder mask color which was black and placed the order. I choose black solder mask as Batman loves the black color. He's into some kind of darkness I guess. After placing the order, I received PCBs in a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. Really love how each detail I made in this PCB was proper and perfect. You guys can check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at a less cost. The PCB assembly for this board was pretty simple. It only contained two components that need to be soldered. On the top layer there's the SD card holder that is an SMD component. So I first added solder paste to the pad and then added the whole board on my DIY SMT hot plate for reflow. After a few minutes when the hot plate reaches the solder paste melting temperature all component will get soldered by this hot plate reflow process. We then remove the PCB from the hot plate to cool down the component and the board surface. Next I added SD card circuit from the bottom side by placing it in its assigned place and then adding the solder pins one by one to the pad in front of it. Now here's the overall result and yes, this setup is working. I added this bad drive on my laptop's USB port and then opened the content of SD card that I have added to this device that I made. 
Now this was totally for fun. I downloaded all the contents from the Riddler website and then added them into my SD card reader. So whenever I plug this device into my computer, Riddler's stuff that he arranged for Batman shows up. And it's freaking awesome. I will add epoxy to the SD card circuit in order to completely secure it in its place. Also, I'm going to prepare a proper SD card reader in the next version of this project by using a proper SD card IC and other stuff. Till then, stay tuned and thanks for watching this video. Do check out my other project if you're interesting and fun and easy to make stuff. Thanks PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. And I'll be back with something cool pretty soon. Peace out.